Hey guys, so welcome back. Today I'm cooking pork belly. It's not the best way to start the vlog off. If you like raw meat and stuff, you may want to skip this part, but it's going to be like a bit of a cook with me segment. So let's go. So I've basically been, um, so basically I have washed my pork belly and it's been in salt water for about three hours. Um, just because I kind of fell asleep and stuff. But anyway, yeah, so this is in salt water. So I'm just going to wash this away dry my meat and then I'm gonna start to season it so basically I've been craving this yeah so let's get started um, I've seen a lot of chefs like Vietnamese and Korean chefs washing their meat or uh, pork in salt water so that's what I've done so it's like this and I just line them up like this I made this not too long ago like <clears throat> I made this about two weeks ago or last week and it was amazing so I'm making it again so I'm literally going to use soy sauce black pepper garlic granules salt a bit of sugar so yeah sorry that's fireworks <laughs> so I'm just gonna Obviously, soy sauce is quite salty, so you've got to be careful, but it needs it. Five spice goes amazing with pork. And I've, I had this at Vietnamese Street Kitchen before, and it's just very nice. So this meal out at a restaurant, so I want to recreate it. Sometimes, if you don't want to, like, you don't want to, you know. If you can't get a takeaway or maybe you can't afford a takeaway and you want to recreate that same kind of vibe at home just buy the ingredients it will be cheaper you can eat it way more times than a takeaway you know what's going in it and um <clears throat> and yeah you can kind of enjoy it more i feel like when you cook at home you actually enjoy it more it takes longer but you'll enjoy it more bit of black pepper that was garlic i put on before not too much black pepper, not too much, not too much. And then, we're gonna do oil. Oh, no. Then, we're going to do some sugar. Maybe did say uh, brown sugar, but I don't have brown sugar, so just use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy things. The only difference between, um, the only difference I think with brown sugar is it slightly, it caramelizes it a bit different and it tastes a little bit different to virgin oil. Just like so. And I use dark soy sauce. So I use quite a lot of oil. I do not want to touch the meat. I will just use this paintbrush thing. Well, <laughs> it's a pastry brush. It's a pastry brush. And I got mine from, you know, the pound store. So, yeah, you just kind of brush it. And you use, you know, the extra from the bottom just to make sure you're making use of your seasonings. Yep, so like so. You can add paprika, but I'm not going to. I don't think it needs it. And the soy is quite salty, so just be careful with the soy is quite salty, so just be careful with that. And then I'm just gonna turn these over. So I'm going to turn these over so both sides are getting the season. <clears throat> smells amazing as well. If you have fresh ginger, you can use a bit. Fresh garlic as well, but I'm not going to do that because I, I don't want to do that today. But you can do that if you wish. It smells lovely, guys. Ooh. Pork belly is quite fattening, so with this one, I normally have like two, and then I just chop it into pieces, but this is gonna be a bit of like a meal press as well. And then I just baste the other side. I do not actually season, I don't add more seasoning for both sides. I just kind of use whatever's left and kind of just paint it on. These are great, get you one of these if you wanna, you wanna have meat and stuff. Get one of these if you cook a lot of meat, but you don't want to keep touching the meat. 
the pork leaves like that fat residue on your hand as well. I'm gonna serve this with should be I'm gonna serve this with rice and chili oil. Don't have any veggies, but veggies would be nice on the side. Um, um, some broccoli would actually be nice with this, or like cabbage, or you know, like a is it a Thai salad with the carrots and stuff? And a little bit more of this. Sticky rice is great, but I don't have sticky rice, so I'm gonna use basmati. Um, but yeah, sticky rice or jasmine rice is perfect with this because it, the stickiness takes all the flavor from the pork. And that is it. You can add green herbs if you want to, but sometimes they burn and they leave a weird taste. So it looks like this. Let's put it in the oven. Yeah, so I do 200 degrees on a fan setting. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven now. So let's do that. Um, so I normally would leave that in there for about an hour to an hour and a half to like slow cook. But if you're in a rush, you can just blast it and put it on like 200 and last, you can just blast it and put it on 220 for like maybe 45 minutes. If you still want it kind of crispy. I'm kind of doing them like slow cook, but crispy at the same time. You can fry it as well, but for health reasons and just for, to be a bit more light on the stomach, I'm baking it, but it's completely up to you. Or you could do an air fryer as well. Guys, I don't know what happened to the sound here, but basically I'm just flipping it over. So you can eat it like this, a bit more braised, but I don't really like it like that. So um, I like it quite crispy. So it's basically halfway through cooking. I'm just turning it over to get like each side, even though it is on a fan setting, you can do it. Um, you can kind of leave it that way um but i like to just flip it over so that each side is getting cooked like thoroughly and getting you know that extra that extra pizzazz and then i'm kind of basting it as i'm going along as well that's what i'm doing now so i'm just literally flipping them over on each side to make sure that you know they're cooked evenly and yeah so that's it Okay, so I just get like a few. They do shrink, so just be mindful of that. If you want to, you can use a fork and a knife, and you just kind of, it has to be very sharp, and just kind of cut it like so. Just kind of cut it like so. <laughs> My knife is not that sharp. Make sure your knife is sharp. That is enough for me. So let's get my bowl for my rice. I'm having it with just steamed rice. Not a lot. <laughs> Not too much now. I'm gonna just get the meat, pop it on top. So crispy, it's like barbecued more protein it's quite a fatty meat so be careful you know maybe it's a lot for veg I did want to do tender stem broccoli but I'm just going to do sweet corn because why not more veg but tender stem broccoli or, or green would be nice with this or a Thai salad like I mentioned you can use a Thai dipping sauce as well with some soy and and some and some chili oil I don't use too much There's my meal. I can't wait to eat, so yeah. Bon appetit, and I hope you make this. If you hope you make it, if you do make it, let me know. So it's literally just pork belly on rice. It's not sticky rice, but it's literally pork belly on rice with veg. Really simple, really quick, and really lovely. So enjoy. And if you want to, you can squeeze some lemon on top. 
okay guys i apologize for the lighting in advance i'm using my artificial light but just want to come on here to quickly show you some things my friend got me and also just tell you about how i felt about shifters the shifters shifters yeah the um the theater show that me and my friend went to see in london in the last vlog so i think it was amazing i love number one i'm giving it five points i loved the cultural references i loved the all black cast i liked yeah i liked the storyline it was cute um i like how i don't want to give spoilers but i just like the what's the word my sister abena will be like i told you this but like the theater design like the theater setup the lighting was like it just added so much vibes to it added amazing it just added like a different like dimension um and then it's not set design because it's a play but stage design i'm guessing <laughs> don't shoot me theater people and then five was i like the i like when you watch a show and it'll be like current and then it'll flash back it'll go to like the future or it'll go to the past like it's a bad it's a bad example but you know like if you've ever seen um do you know when the show, it just keeps going back in the past and then it comes back to the present and sometimes it goes into the future it's just kind of confusing but you need to follow it and i love it so yeah i really enjoyed it it was a cute day out and we went to pizza express as you've already seen in the vlog and yeah it was just a cute girly day out in london we went to oxford street um <clears throat> We didn't do any shopping but we just we did a bit of shopping but we just wanted to like we just caught up really and it was amazing so if you have i don't know if they're showing shifters anymore i think it was done we watched the second to last show because it's been on in the theater for a while and it was at the duke of york theater and it was amazing so I definitely recommend it if you want to see some black excellent if you want to see some black excellence and there's also the guy from supercell which i've just started watching which I'm getting into. So yeah, I'm late to the party, but don't take my don't take my black card, okay? <laughs> so um, anyway, let me show you what my friend got me. So basically, we met up. Um, I went to Carlisle for a job uh, the other day, and we went together. We, she was assisting me for like my big wedding job. So yeah, we were on the train, we were chilling, whatever. And then she hasn't seen me since my she hasn't seen me since August, and it's now November. So. <laughs> That's a different story for a different day. Anyway, she got me this beautiful bag. She listens because I mentioned it in the summertime and she got it for me. But look at the Bottega in style. Look at the Bottega style bag. It's giving. It's so well made. The quality. I haven't worn it because I was waiting to vlog it first. And I always do that. I want it to be like kind of perfect. So it's huge i was thinking why didn't she tell me that she got me this before maybe because i would have met up with her before <laughs> but it's fine sturdy lovely gold detailing it's giving bottega and like i always wanted this bag i love it in this color and i love it in the red color it's been in my burgundy and the burgundy color like the cherry red color it's been in my uh it's been in my wish list for like a long time on boohoo i just never got around to getting it and i don't have a bag like this for like errands and just meeting like friends i normally have a tote bag or like a coach you know like a smaller bag so yeah i'm so happy i can't wait to take it out i wanted to take it out today but i was like mm -mm. no and then she got me she got me this lovely Real Techniques Glow Radiance Complexion Kit. So it comes with, <clears throat> ooh, so it's an exfoliating sponge. It's a toning sponge and then it's a, like a beauty blender. So I can't wait to use this tonight. I'm gonna use this with my cleanser. I'm gonna use that with my cleanser to like buff it in, exfoliating sponge similar to that one i've always wanted one is it a konjac sponge from korea or somewhere yeah exfoliator cleanser toner tinted moisturizer and foundation so you can use like oh are these sponges i i don't know so the one is for cleansing the one is for prepping and then this is obviously for blending so cleansing prepping and then blending love that she knows me and my skin has left the chat so she, 
She must have heard me, honey. I need my skin to come back to life. And then she bought me the infamous ridiculous. Curve case. She got me the curve case, guys. Oh, guys, so pretty. Like, I don't wear makeup that much, but with this, baby, I'm going out on Friday, so I'm wearing this. And it looks like that. Like, whoa. Whoa. Can you see these colors? Like, these ones at the bottom, blusher, all in one. I got no words. <laughs> So I love, love, love that. And I cannot wait to use it. I love, I like Made by Mitchell stuff. I've got one of his blushes. I've got one of his blushes in Rituation. And Rituation comes in here as well. So it's a vibe. I'm going to be glowing the weekend. I'll let you know how I get on with this. And then she got me one last thing. Sorry about the lighting. Um, she got me this lovely, like, travel size uh, L'Occitane. Fleur de Cerise, so cherry blossom. <laughs> yeah, so this cherry blossom wash. Look how beautiful that is. And then she got me this lovely cherry blossom body wash. I'm gonna take this for travel, I think, because I'll finish this in like two days, so. <laughs> um, or maybe I'll use it as a topper. But I like to have travel size things, so when I go on holiday, when I go like nights away, love that so yeah thank you so much adeline girl i hope you're watching you should be okay <laughs> but yeah that is everything she got me so i'll see you guys in a bit hi guys happy saturday so i'm heading out quickly to meet up my best friend so we're just gonna go for a walk around town pretty much she's just gone to drop off her sister and yeah it's just gonna work out um so that we meet up so i'm just gonna show you my outfit um, it's quite cold outside, so I'm going to wear this, well, I am wearing this jacket from Zara, top is from H&M. My trousers are also from Zara, they're like these chocolate uh, trousers. I'm wearing this chocolate bag, it's really dark. It's like almost black, but it's like espresso. The weather is not great and it's really dark, so this is just quick what's on my face. Jewelry, it's from my best friend as well. These are from Pretty Little Thing. This is from ASOS, the ring. This is the combo. So, uh, this is the Sol de Janeiro dupe. This is from Lidl. Um, pistachio and salted caramel. And then this is the, basically the Killian Angel Share dupe from Paris Corner. I've had it for so long, but look. It's like liquor. It's literally like brown liquor. I think that's the influence behind it. But it's a dupe of Killian Angel Share. And I mixed these two. And I've also sprayed this in my hair as well. Because it's hair and body mist which my, my sister told me it was um haven't really done my edges i don't do my edges but yeah i'm gonna wear a new balance because it's standard yeah that's my outfit i will try to vlog on my phone and i'm running a bit late so see ya hey everyone welcome back so it currently is i don't know what day it is at this point i think the last day you saw me was probably saturday uh, i went to german market with my best friend and she came to visit um anyway i'm just heading off to the gym now and i've got my gym bottle um just wearing very minimal jewelry pearls this necklace from my best friend and this i believe is from sonucci it's like a gold just it's literally just like a gold, uh, plain necklace with no charm or anything, which I really like. Um, yeah, this is my my gym outfit. Yeah, so I'm in my winter arc and I'm going to the gym. I'm going to fill up my water and yeah, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just heading out. Um, just heading to probably just like for a browse in town. And I just want to show you my outfit really quickly before I leave. Did my nails earlier on. Um, yeah, I am literally went all brown. It's cold out there. So, fashion. It's, it's not going out the window, but I'm just literally wearing all brown. Which is like my favourite colour. Brown and burgundy are like my favourite colours at this time of year. I love the colour chocolate brown. As you guys already know, my hair is brown. My hair is brown, my makeup, I literally did it in like two seconds. Um, 
I'm taking my beautiful Rita Aura bag. This bag is beautiful. Um, and I could just wear it over my shoulder like this. Sephora opened today, the new Zara opened today, and I wanna go into this Korean shop. So I'm just gonna go have like a browse, really. Just gonna go have a browse in town, really. Um, I think I need to put some eyeliner on. My fragrance today, and it smells incredible. Supreme Vanilla from uh, Zara. First time using it again this year. It's almost done like, oh my God, it smells amazing. Um, I don't know how I feel about matte lip. I feel like when my lip is matte, everything else looks a little bit plain, but I love my nails. This is just a color from Amazon, part of like my new gel kit, but it moved like a random dark burgundy. So, thinking to wear my new balance. I've got some other boots I can wear, but they're really like restrictive and I feel like, I feel quite restricted already. So, I'm not gonna do that today. Um, yeah. So that's literally me. I'm wearing like thermal leggings as well. Lip is out. It's Hollywood Honey from Charlotte Tilbury with Made by Mitchell around the lip. Um, it's like a Fenty lipstick as well. There's a lot going on. But yeah, I'll try and vlog on my phone. So let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from town and I just wanted to show you some things that I quickly picked up. Um, well, my boyfriend actually got them for me. So, um, it's a new skincare shop that has launched in the Boring and yeah. Got me some treats because my skin hasn't been skinning lately. I've been using retinol and I feel like it's helping to like, I feel like it's helping to brighten and like even up my skin, but I feel like I need like the plumpness and I just need evenness. And yeah, I just wanna use more Korean products. So yeah, let me just show you really briefly. So this is the bag. The shop is called Pure Soul, like Soul Korea. Only got three items. The sheet mask section is a bit of me. You guys know me, I love a sheet mask, like down. Like I absolutely love a sheet mask. So yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm gonna shower again. So I already showered today, but I'm gonna shower again. I'm gonna use these products I wanted to show you before I use them. So I got this lovely um, Hyla, Hyl, it's good, Hyl, I think for hyaluronic acid and B5 Reuve Lifting Mask. I got two of these because I love hyaluronic acid. If you know me, I love hyaluronic acid. I love vitamin C and I love um, salicylic acid. I used to like niacinamide, but I've gone off it. But yeah, got these two. And I think they were two pounds each or so from what I can see. I'm made in Korea and I can't wait to do this tonight. Me and a sheet mask and a chai tea. We're like this. And this little cheeky thing is called One Thing. That's the brand, it's made in Korea, of course. And it is a Hotunia, Hotunia Cordata Extra, 300 ml. And it was only eight pounds for 300 ml for a toner. And yeah, just this lovely toner and look how aesthetic it is. <sighs> that does help as well. Oh, it's like sealed love korean products so aesthetic like, look at that guys what what <laughs> the brand is called one thing i saw it and i was like this looks like a fragrance this is good for helping your skin like fight antioxidants um redness anti-inflammatory um texture kind of but it's like a botanical extract with minimal ingredients so this would be nice just to like you know freshen up the skin and because i've been going to the gym and stuff like i feel like this would be nice after the gym just to freshen up the skin and this i think was seven pounds it's on reduced half price so for 300 ml it's gonna last a long time baby so yeah i wanted to show you guys that because i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it now so I wanted to show you guys. You guys know I always save the best things for you guys. I always want everything to be brand new. So yeah, 
that's it guys i'm currently cooking as always <laughs> i'm currently cooking as always there's food in the oven um it's literally the same pork belly i had the other day with sticky rice though this time i can't wait and um mixed vegetables so that's what i'm having for dinner because i'm just yeah i need like i just want something wholesome after today and uh, i'm gonna watch love is blind and i'm gonna have hagen dazs pistachio and cream for dessert which oh, guys today's gonna be a movie so yeah that's what i'm gonna get up to today and i'll see you guys probably at the weekend because i'm working for these next two days and i'll be on here if i've got anything else to do so yeah see you soon Hi hey guys, welcome back. So it's still the same day, it's still Tuesday, and I'm just making myself some lunch. I'm gonna make myself like an iced coffee. Um, sometimes you know when you want something and you don't wanna go out to grab it, or you know, like you've got the ingredients at home. So we've got we've got Dunkin at home, even though we don't have Dunkin in the UK. Um, Costa, you know, all the coffee shops. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make myself an iced latte, and we're gonna do this together. Um, for my lunch i'm literally just having fish cakes with like mixed vegetables something like a very light lunch but i want like a nice coffee so let's make it together we need some coffee some sugar cinnamon vanilla so i don't like a lot of coffee i like mine quite light like very watery pretty much so i'm gonna literally do like that much coffee That's like one and a half. And then sugar, do two of these. If you like more coffee, put more coffee. But I think that's enough sugar. If you want less sugar, if you want to put less sugar, you can put less sugar in there as well. Uh, yeah, if you want to put less sugar, you can put less sugar in there as well. Get a little bit of water, add some water. Up and down, up and down, up and down. The milk. This doesn't take long at all. I like my coffee very um, milky. I'm gonna add in, if you have vanilla syrup, you can add vanilla syrup, but I add vanilla extract. It's just like the syrup really, it's pretty much the same thing. This is a big coffee. <laughs> Mix it around a bit. And some cinnamon on top. Yeah, so that is my coffee. If you wanted to add uh, cream, you could put cream on top. Um, or you can add brown sugar, which I would have normally done, but I don't actually have any brown sugar, weirdly. So. This is an iced coffee with vanilla syrup and cinnamon. Forgot to add the ice. <laughs> it's nice without it, but let's add the ice. 10 out of 10. Brown sugar syrup would have been really nice, but I'm gonna learn how to make my own brown sugar syrup. 
I think it's literally brown sugar and something else, some water, maybe something else, but yeah. I just wanted an iced coffee. I just wanted to hear this sound. So yeah, if you ever want, if you're ever craving something, you don't want to go out and you've got coffee at home, you've got ice, you've got milk, you've got sugar, which most people do have. Throw it all together. Bob's your uncle. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. So um, today's the last day of the vlog. I wanted to end off the vlog by showing you just a beautiful gift that I got from my friend. Uh, one of my, my hands are dry, but one of my closest friends. So um, I got me this gift for my birthday, um, but I basically haven't used like, well, I've used some of the products because I couldn't wait, but I wanted to start using them properly. So I wanted to show you them when they're all boxed and cute because I want to use them now so just want to show you this gift to end off the vlog um i get a lot of i feel like my vlogs and my i feel like in my vlogs especially this vlog i've gotten like a lot of nice gifts and stuff and i have really special people around me who always treat me and give me like cute gifts and treats and stuff because i like things <laughs> so let me show you what he got me so he got it me in this really cute recyclable bag i know he's into recycling Please ignore my skin and I'm gonna run through this very quickly. So first up, he got me the new Fenty Butter Drop. Last year he got me the other Fenty Butter Drop. You know, the one in like the pot. I absolutely love it. And this time he got me this one. So, you know, he knows I love body care and I have, I, I love my skin. So he got me this beautiful Fenty one and it's glass, smells, I, think, I haven't actually smelled it yet. Oh, it smells like the other one, but a bit nicer. I think it's the same scent, but it smells nicer. It's a hydrating body milk. And it's glass, so love that. I haven't used it yet, guys, because I've been, I've been waiting. If you know me, I love body cream and I love shower stuff, so I love body care, so I've been waiting. But that's my dedication for you guys. And then he got me the L'Occitane Amand, um, so it's like a shower oil. Um, so yeah, it smells amazing. I love almond oil. I used to use it on my skin, but I ran out. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know how shower oils work and if they leave the place really like, you know, like if they leave the shower slippery, but I don't think it does. It's just gonna give you that really soft skin. And yeah, it looks like this. So yeah, I cannot wait to use this. Then he got me some face masks. So a banana one, an apple one, and an orange one. He knows I love this brand. I love Anatomicals. And he got me stuff from Anatomicals last year as well. He knows me like really, really well. So he got me a banana one. That's for wrinkles. A toning one, which is the apple one. And then the orange one, which is pimple prevention. I need a bit of all of it because my skin, it looks glowy and stuff now, but my skin is talking. So yeah, got me that. Um, so yeah, they're these really nice masks. It's a really cute bag as well. I love stuff like this for travel, like for my skincare or like my uh, samples and decants. Face masks, love this. So definitely recyclable and reusable. Um, so yeah. Oh, I can't wait to use these. Face mask added to my collection. You guys know I love a sheet mask. I love a face mask. I love anything to do with skin. So, yeah, love that. You got me this lovely Juliet has a gun Ode to Dullness, Dullness, Ode to Dullness um, fragrance. So, I love the packaging. And it smells like lipstick in like a weird way i don't know why i keep thinking that it smells like lipstick so it's very soft i think it's got i checked the notes it's got like soft notes really nice like i feel like it's quite an intimate fra intimate like it's quite a skin scent fragrance i think i'm gonna wear some today i haven't got any peppermint on I haven't i haven't used it yet i smell it but i haven't used it oh this smells really nice so it's Oh yes, tonka bean, sandalwood, cashmere, cozy. Yes, that's it's giving cozy, like a very intimate, cozy scent. Like this one for like around the holiday season, like just comfy and cozy. And mm, it's made by Nina Ritchie. 
it's made by Romando Ritchie, so the grandson of Nina Ritchie. Oh, it's lovely. Tonka bean, I love sandalwood as well. It's like chocolatey and like, oh, it's like chocolatey and really intimate. So like that. Then he got me this gloss balm. You guys know I love Fenty lip glosses. I've got the hot chocolate and I've got the full size of this. So he got me the mini of the Fenty gloss balm. And I love it. I want to see the applicator because I love the applicator. I want to know if the applicator is big. Oh yeah, the applicator is big. I haven't used it yet as well. And I've just finished my other two. But yeah, he got me that. And then, last but not least, he got me this lovely chai kit. I love chai tea as well. Like I absolutely love, like, I like Karak chai. I like Masala chai. And I like Kashmiri chai. And I like this is chili chai but i do love like pink chai as well i've got that in the cupboard and yeah he got me this chili chai tea so it's loose leaf tea looks like this and it comes with it comes with such a cute card as well that just goes in there i believe it's from wittard so wittard is like a tea shop if you love tea go to wittard if you want to get someone like a cute gift and especially at this time of year you want something comforting and cozy tea is an amazing gift so this is flavored black tea chili chai i've already tried it guys i couldn't wait it's spicy um so basically the first time i did it i did like too much and then it was really really strong but now i do like a tiny bit of it with a lot of milk and i add honey because that's what the that's what it said on the back was it yeah i said it somewhere that you should do it with honey and you can infuse it more than one time so i love that um, yes, you can add it with frothy milk and um, honey. And you have yourself a chai latte. <laughs> That's what it says there, baby. So, love that. Probably the cutest tea infuser. Guys, I've used it, but I kept the packaging. But let me open it like i never seen it before. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so cute. So yeah, you just put the... I didn't even know how to use this bottle, so let me let me do this respectfully. Let me make sure I do it right. So I literally put this loose leaf tea and I put it in here. And then when it's brewing for like however many minutes you want, depending on if you want it really strong or not, you just yeah, leave this like on the side and then yeah, and you can infuse it more than once, which I love. And let me show you the tea. I've already cracked into it, guys. I couldn't wait got um black tea cardamom cinnamon cloves and ginger and a pinch of chili that's why it's so spicy but yeah i have used a bit of it i'm gonna make this now and i have it with a lot of milk and honey because i like it quite like milky oh it smells so like christmasy oh, it smells like the holidays yeah guys that brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like the little bits and bobs that i've shown you in this vlog there's been food food fun skincare <laughs> so it's just been like food chilling cooking you know the things i get up to at home i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe it'll really help my channel and i will see you on the next one